Good morning, students. Today, we will discuss new chapter quadratic expressions. Okay. Where does the IP? So, 2 marks plus 4 is equal to 2 daily 6 marks. Okay. First of all, introduction about this problem. x to the power of n plus a1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus next a2 x to the power of n minus 2 and plus and so on so on so on so on so on, so on plus a n into x to the power of 0 okay so e is called okay e is called a nth degree e is called a nth degree polynomial of variable x variable students so, here I am taking first here I am considering f of x is equal to a naught x to the power of n plus a one x to the power of n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power of n minus 2 that means x power is decreasing and so on so on so on a into x power naught is called a nth degree that means here highest power is n that's why it is called nth degree polynomial of variable. Here variable is x. That's why it's called nth degree polynomial of variable x. Okay. So next, what is the definition of quadratic quadratic expression? Yes. See here. The definition is if a polynomial, okay, if a polynomial of the form of the form a x square plus b x plus c and here the condition is small a value is not equal to 0 that means x square coefficient is okay not a is not equal to 0 and a comma b comma c is belongs to some real numbers okay so the definition of quadratic expression is if a, any polynomial of the form a x square plus b x plus c and the condition small a value that means x square coefficient small a value is not equal to 0 and a comma b comma c is belongs to real numbers then it is called okay then it is called a quadratic expression quadratic expression okay now see here for example I am taking x square minus 7x plus 6. Yes, this one is called a quadratic expression. Or next, the definition of a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Okay. An equation. An equation of the form. Of the form. A x square plus B x plus C is equal to 0. Whenever I have it equal to 0. Then it is called a quadratic equation. Okay. In the same condition here also. X square coefficient small a value is not equal to 0. And small a comma b comma c is belongs to real numbers. Do you understand the students? What is the difference between quadratic expression and quadratic equation? A quadratic expression is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. And on the hand, equal to 0, then it is becomes a quadratic equation. Okay. Next. For example, I am taking x square minus 5x and plus 6 is equal to 0. Yes, it is called a quadratic equation. Suppose that I am taking, for example, so 0x square minus bx plus c is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation? No, it is not a quadratic equation because the x square portion is equal to 0. That's why it is not a quadratic equation. Okay, so for example, I am taking a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation? Yes, it is a quadratic equation because it is a standard form of the quadratic equation. Yes, next. See, students, a quadratic equation has always two roots only. It has only roots, two roots only. Okay? Yes. Two roots only. Suppose 
alpha gamma beta or two groups these are the two groups okay then we have to find the quadratic equation okay how to find the quadratic equation if you know the two roots alpha and beta x square minus x of alpha plus beta that means sum of the two roots plus alpha into beta is equal to zero okay this one is nothing but x minus alpha into x minus beta is equal to zero means every quadratic equation has only roots two roots Next, nature of the roots. Nature of the roots. Now we are discuss about nature of the roots. What is the standard form of the quadratic equation? Already we have a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. It's called a quadratic equation. Okay. So in this section, b square minus four ac. B square minus four ac. Is called is called a discriminant. So whatever the b square minus four ac, this one is called a discriminant of our quadratic equation. So it is denoted by it is denoted by delta or capital D letter. Okay, how to denote the discriminant? Delta or capital D. Okay. So by using b square minus 4ac, we can okay, uh, learn about the uh, nature of the roots. That means we can discuss nature of the roots of quadratic equation. The first one, the first rule is our concept. If b square minus 4ac value is okay, is greater than zero, that means the displacement value is greater than zero, then the roots are then the roots are real and distinct real and distinct distinct is nothing but different rows distinct is nothing but different rows so for understanding the purpose we are making one example see students we are making one quadratic equation x square minus 5 plus 6 is equal to 0 ok how to find its roots by using factorization method so x square minus 2 3 plus 6 yes so therefore x square minus 2x minus 3x and plus 6 is equal to 0 x be the common so therefore x minus 2 minus 3 is the common x minus 2 is, is equal to 0 which is the common factor here x minus 2 so therefore I am getting x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals to 0 so from this first factor x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 2 that means let us consider alpha is equal to 2 and beta is equal to 2. That means the roots are the real. Yes, 2 and 3 are real numbers. That's why 2, 3 are the real numbers. And these two roots are different. That is the concept of the b square minus 4 is greater than 0. Okay. Next, the second rule is if b square minus 4ac value is equal to 0. Okay. So then the roots are the roots are real and equal real and equal okay so for understanding the purpose from dating x square minus 2x and plus 1 is equal to 0 okay see strings shall I write this x square minus 2x plus 1 as a x minus 1 no whole square equals to 0 is it right it is the form of just a minus b whole square x minus 1 whole square is nothing but x minus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. Right. So from this one, x is equal to 1. Again, x is equal to 1. It means alpha equals to 1, beta is equal to 1. Yes. It means 1 is the real number. So roots are real and equal. Yes, both the roots are equal. That is the concept of the second one. Next, the third one. If b square minus 4ac value is less than 0 okay so then the roots are then the roots are conjugate to each other that means complex conjugate roots 
complex conjugate root. What is the meaning of complex conjugate root? See here. Can we take one example? So x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Can we take quadratic equation? x square plus x plus 1 equals to 0. Okay? By using formula method. Okay? So our formula is x is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac is divided by 2a. By using this formula, you can find the roots of this formula. Therefore, x is equals to here a value 1, b value 1, and c value is also 1. Substituting in formula. We will get minus 1 plus or minus and root of b square means 1 minus 4. Okay, 4 ac, 4 ones are 4 divided by 2. If you simplify this one, you will get it is equal to okay, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 is becomes minus 3. Okay, the square root of minus 3 is nothing but i root 3 is divided by 2. i root 3, yes. Let us consider here alpha is equal to from this one minus 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 and the second root is beta is equal to minus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. See students, the first root is minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 according to previous term, first term, complex numbers. What is the conjugate of this one? Minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 is right. So that's why alpha and beta are the complex conjugate to each other. Each other. So that is the concept of third term. Okay, see students once again. So the nature of the roots, what are the first rule? If b square minus 4 is a value is greater than 0, then the roots are real and different. The second rule is if b square minus 4 is a value equals to 0, then the roots are real and equal. The third rule is if b square minus 4 is a value less than 0, then the roots are complex conjugate to each other. This is the concept of the nature of the roots of the Particle equation x square plus b square c is equal to 0. Okay. okay. Next theorem on this topic quadratic expression. The theorem statement is it is for 4 marks. Okay. In a so the roots of the equation. Okay. What is the standard form of the quadratic equation? x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is okay for finding the root formula x is equal to minus b plus r minus the root of b square minus 4 ac by 2 okay now we have to prove this theorem okay first proof so very simple c is square so what about the given quadratic equation the first one is given that the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is, is equal to 0 Okay, it's very simple. First of all, we have to take this plus c into RHS side. Okay, so first thing, ax square plus bx is equal to plus c is becomes a minus c. Is clear? Next, observe here, we have 4ac. 4ac. That means we have to multiply 4a with 4a on both sides. So therefore, multiplying by 4a, 4a on both sides, you get 4a into a how much? 4a square, so that's why 4a square x square plus 4abx is equal to minus 4ac. Did you understand the concept? First, taking plus c in the say. Next step is multiplying by 4a on both sides. So, next, observe here. In formula, we have b square, that means adding b square. So, next step is adding b square on both sides of this equation. We we'll get 4a square x square plus 4abx and plus b square is equal to b square minus 4ac. Okay, see students. Shall write these three terms as 2ax plus b whole square, right? a plus b whole square. Suppose if you expand this 2ax plus b whole square, you will get 4a square x square plus 4a bx plus b square. So it is equal to b square minus 4ac. Next, taking the square root of x, taking the square root of x, it is become square root. 
So that's why 2ax plus b is, is equal to square root of b square minus 4ac. It means you can get the sum of minus. Next, 2ax is equal to next plus b. Okay, if you take the plus b into our set, it becomes minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac. Yes, next I require here x. So therefore, x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac is divided by 2a. Hence, the theorem is true. Okay, this is the concept of 4 marks. Next, could I have one more case? First bit, find the roots of the following equation. If you are given five equations, one, two, three, four, five. You have to find the two roots. A quadratic equation has always how many roots? Two roots. How to find its roots by using factorization method or using formula method? Okay. So formula method means x is equal to by b, minus b plus r minus r root of b square minus 4ac is divided by 2a. Or factorization method, you can solve first first bit. Okay, next the second bit. Form quadratic equation whose roots are okay. It is the opposite of first bit. That means you have given roots. Two comma five are the two roots. Then you have to form a quadratic equation. Already we learned in the introduction class. If alpha comma beta are the two roots, then the formula is x square minus x into the sum of the two roots alpha plus beta and plus the product of the roots alpha into beta is equal to 0. By using this formula, you can solve the second bit. Next, third one. Find the nature of the roots of the following. We have given four equations. How to find the nature of the equations? By using this command. See here, first of all, we have to compare it with ax square plus bx plus c. Write down small a value, b value and c value. By using this command. Discriminant is b square minus 4ac. Okay, we have to find b square minus 4ac of okay all the equations. If b square minus 4ac value is greater than 0, then what is the nature of this root? So the nature is the roots are real and different. Okay, if b square minus 4ac value is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then the roots are Complex compared to each other. That is a concept of okay. Solve this three bits.